So, <clears throat> I just wanted to talk to you very quickly about running a fingerprint jewellery business. Um, it's a fantastic thing to do. Um, I've been making fingerprint jewellery for at least, I don't know, seven years maybe. Um, and I train people to to set up their own fingerprint jewellery businesses and I love doing it and I love seeing the success that they have and, and their faces when they make their first charm. It's just a real incredible thing that you, you can learn to do. So um, profit wise, if I just talk to you a little bit about the different areas that you just might want to consider okay, during this little video. So profit wise, um, it's incredibly profitable. Um, we charge about £50 per charm for a small charm and silver probably is about £15. So you're looking at £35 profit. Now obviously from that you need to take out your uh, marketing costs, so how much you want to spend per customer to acquire them. You want to take out your running costs and things like that. But, um, but I can help you with all of that and getting your costings right. So, but you can see that, that you're making quite a bit profit per charm. Now, each charm takes me about half an hour, but obviously I've been doing it a lot longer. So if you budgeted about an hour, 45 minutes to an hour per charm, and that's when you're doing, say, 10 at a time, because I find that that's the quickest way to work. I've also got a few time-saving things from polishing things that I can share with you. Because obviously time is money when you run your own business, um, unfortunately, and there's never enough time. Um, so saving time is probably the one thing you want to focus on um, when you're doing something like this. Um, so the sort of things that you'd be doing when you run your own fingerprint jewellery business would be um, finding customers, so obviously the marketing. So this, you know, that just because you've learned and you're brilliant at making things a bit joy, it doesn't mean you've got an instant business. You need to find customers that want what you do. Now it does sell itself, so if you made some for you and a few special friends um, and they all wore them, you will get leads and sales that way. You can do shows, um, you can hold parties. Um, if selling's not for you, there are other ways around it as well, which I can help you with. You can sell online, um, Fingerprint Joy can be done worldwide from your living room. Um, or you can do it face to face and there's lots of opportunities. Um, market wise obviously the main one are babies um, but you've also got the wedding market, you've got um, you've got pet market but that's probably more for the handprint and artwork jewellery course but um, you may be able to do something um, with the techniques I show you. Um, you have um, lots of other markets which I won't go into now but there's lots and lots of opportunities and a lot of them are still undiscovered and untapped. Um, you um, So once you've got your customers which will probably take up a majority of time especially at the beginning you obviously have your admins so you need to do your bookkeeping and your your ordering of stock and um, keeping in touch with customers your emailing answering the phone and things like that which is the same in any business and then you've got the time which I call production which is you making the jewelry for your customers and obviously making samples at the beginning um, so like I said each charm takes me about half an hour and I tend to batch them together so I may do make all the charms one day let them dry the next day I'll sand them put them in the kiln the next day I'll polish them or spread it out over a week um, or you can make one in a whole day like on a training course we make like five charms um, from beginning to finish um, in one day so you can work in any way that suits you obviously most people do this to fit around their family um, so you've got to think what works best for you at the end of the day you're in the driving seat you can run your business however you want okay but you just need to think about it don't let it happen by accident because then you may be in a position where you've got a business that's ruling you that's not good I've been there it's not good so you um, a proportion of time is obviously going to be that and then obviously packaging it up and giving it back to the customer and then you want to keep in touch with that customer so that's a bit more marketing so you've got a lot of aspects that are the same in any business um, so don't go into this business basically is what I'm trying to say just thinking all you're going to do is creating now if that's all you want to do and you genuinely don't want to do any of the rest you can outsource it it's not a problem but I wouldn't approach it like that at the beginning just Keep in mind that a lot of your time will be marketing, admin, getting the site, your website sorted if you wanted one, not essential, branding, you know, lots and lots of things. And the actual making sort of comes at the end. And, and you need to prioritise your marketing as well. So even if you're busy, you want to keep put, put schedule some little time aside every day, every week, every month, whatever you can afford, um, and make sure you keep on marketing your business. 
so that's sort of in a nutshell um what it's like running a business you can see it's um, a fingerprint joy business you can see it's very profitable it's great fun when you make your first charm you will be amazed at this material. It uses, um, basically we use a material called precious metal clay or art clay. And you don't just have to make fingerprint jewelry from it. You can, if, if you've got a special charm that you really like, you can make a mould of it and create a copy in fine silver. You could copy shells. You can make, um, you can model something by hand. You, you, once you know the skills, there's any, you can do anything. And you can be really creative with the fingerprint jewelry. You can add in char, um, gemstones you can make different shapes you can make it into gifts you can do cufflinks bracelets on different different um beaded th you know bracelets the opportunities are endless it's an amazing thing I would love to help you get started. If you don't know how to create Pink and Joy, I've got a course online which takes you it's got video step by step everything you need to know about making Pink and Jewelry which is the keepsake academy .com. Um, and if you already have a business or after you've learnt, um, then you can join mycreativebusiness.co.uk which will tell you everything you need to know about running a creative business. From um, this month um, we, we're going through a web design course, so beginning to end how to set up your own website, follow me, I'm going to do it along with you and at the end you'll have a website that's all included in the membership. And um, <clears throat> We have some amazing launch offers, so if you're watching this video quite soon from when I've posted it, if you get in touch now, um, you'll be getting a lot of things for free. Um, but I'm sure we'll have offers, you know, if you're watching this in a year's time, then, you know, you've got even more resources at your fingertips, um, and I'm sure we'll have some more offers. Um, but anyway, even without offers, it's fantastic value. Um, I can't quite believe we're only charging what we are, um, and we're giving so much value away, some really good interviews and case studies. Um, but there's more information on the site, so I won't, I won't bore you with that now. But if you are thinking of getting started, please do get in touch. If you have any questions at all about what's involved in running a fingerprint joy business, or you want to have a chat with me or one of the team, please get in touch, email, um, phone 0845257 or email is academy at thekeepsakeco.co.uk um, I'll put a little screen at the end of this just with all the details um, best of luck if, if you decide to go and you don't get in touch um, if you decide to just to, to go ahead and not through us then best of luck with it you're gonna love it um, one more caution I learnt myself without going on training course because there wasn't really anything like it out there at the time there were no courses um no one was really doing it at the time um it's a very expensive way to learn so why you think you're saving money on the training the amount of silver that you could use and the the cost of the silver it will cost you 10 times probably what it would do if you just went to an expert and, and let them show you how to do it um the great thing with our courses is it doesn't matter where you are in the world um we can show you everything step by step we've got a starter kit which we can send you with everything you need um to get started so we're making it really easy for you to start your own fingerprint jewelry so anyway best of luck. I really hope you decide to do something if not fingerprint jewellery for yourself because running your own business is just the best especially when you're um you've got a small family because it just gives you so much flexibility and you can just be at home with your little ones as much as you want and fit it all in around them so um best of luck and I will hopefully speak to you soon. Thanks for watching.